Hey, welcome back to Oreo Speedwagon. I'm Tommy. She's Rachel. There's Badger. One of my favorite sayings is, just because you live in a van doesn't mean you have to eat like one. Eat like a van? Eat like a van. Eat like you, <laughs> no, eat like you live in one. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Anyway, we're gonna make some bacon wrapped hamburger patties. Sometimes we act like a fool Not aware we're troublemakers So we're also going to make loaded baked mashed potatoes and brown gravy. I really like to have A1 with these, but I don't think we have any A1, so probably won't do it. I'm kind of I'm kind of a hardcore A1 guy. I'm sorry. I mean, you are. When I tell you it's simple, I say that because it's simple. It just hit, it's not the same without Worcestershire sauce. It's just not Worcestershire. Worcestershire. I don't know how you say it. I say Worcestershire. Worcestershire. But that doesn't mean it's right. Different. Garlic powder. And I've said before, my rule when it comes to seasoning is Overseas. when you think you've had enough, when you think you've put enough in there, put more. And I've never had anybody have my food and go, well, that's disgusting. <laughs> they all like it. Mainly that was, mainly that was the kids when they were growing up and they didn't know any different. They still like you cooking. Yeah, just, just cause that's what they're used to. Salt is one of those things I don't like to cook with a lot of it. That may seem like a lot, but it's not. I just don't like to cook with a lot of salt because you can always add it later. You gotta get messy with this stuff. You gotta get your get it just smear it so in there. So freaking hard. It. You just gotta get in there and just work it like you own it. Yep. Just mean it. And I will say one of the things I'm really working on on videos is me and my ability to get points across. Because <laughs> it's probably fairly obvious that oh. I have a speech impediment. I stutter. I mean, and I know what it is. I know why I have it. Because he tries to talk really fast. Mm. Well, it's like, I think really fast. I, I mean, that's really why I'm quick-witted, because I think really fast. So it's difficult sometimes for everything that's in my head to come out at one time. So I'm going to do this and have my head directly in my wife's butt. Sorry, and I, I'm just trying to... <laughs> I'm not sorry about it. I'm not griping a bit. Literally, make a patty. No, that, yeah, that's fine. So this bacon is. Yeah, it's not. It's, it's all right. Weird. It's going to work. Always before, like I said, I've made these in an oven at, when we had our normal house. And you've never made these. They're really good. Pretty simple. And honestly, I don't even know how long I leave them in for. Let's just be real. I uh, leave them in until they're done. Oven time. Okay, do you want him to lick this? Sure. I'm sure he'd be all about it. There you go. This magnet is freaking strong, especially yeah. when it's in an area where I can't really get <laughs> good. Lord. Anyway, this is the equivalent of being a little kid and your mom makes a cake and, you cake and you get to lick the beaters. He hasn't really learned the foot thing yet, you know, putting a paw on it and hold it down. He'll probably chase it to Wisconsin. I've really begun to work hard on trying to think about what I'm going to say before I say it and not just coming up with stuff on the fly, you know, planning out what I'm going to say. I didn't do it before I started this part of the video. I didn't, but I really need to work on slowing down. Probably turn some people off from our videos because of the speed at which I talk and also just my general personality. So yeah, just know that I do have a speech impediment. I do stutter. This is how I always tell people. It's like you can have a funnel and you can pour all the stuff you want to in the top of the funnel, but it can't all come out at the same speed. I have a lot in my head. Good and bad, there's a lot there. <laughs> and 
it's hard for me sometimes to just let it flow out my brain wants to force everything out at one time and so my mouth gets tripped up i i think really really quickly and if you've been around me ever met me you know that i'm extremely quick-witted for better and worse sometimes things pop out of my mouth i'm like hey i wish that never came out but it's true it is what it is so just know that i'm really working on that part it's not always going to be perfect because it's me So the grease has been dripping off of that thing. Yeah. And uh, Badger decided to start licking it. So I don't know if he has grease all over his head. Rachel just cleaned it off. So behind us back here is the Red River. We actually camped here before. It's just a, it's a nice, generally quiet place to stay. Had some rain the past few days. It's supposed to have some more coming in a few days. The river actually has water in it, which, you know, doesn't always happen. Back over here is Texas on the other side, and we're on the Oklahoma side. We're on the dirty side, filthy Oklahoma. It's chilly enough. Rachel's wearing her little beanie hat that she wears when it's well, I just chilly weather. Because my hair looks like crap. Why do you think I'm wearing a hat? It'll be fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> Things like this are really easy to keep in the van. They don't take up much space and they're, you know, just packages. You just like got, gravy packages. Yeah, you just got, and mashed potatoes and all that. You just gotta carry water. That's the only thing. So, anyway, stir this and let it come up to a boil and let it simmer for a minute. And It'll be... That's it. it. I yeah. mean, these are, come look in here. I think these are essentially done. Oh yeah. They're getting there. They're yeah. getting there. That so. bacon may need to get a yeah. little bit more crispier. It'll be fine. Uh, so she got the mashed potatoes done. Here's our gravy. Let's see how these are going. Oh yeah. That's gonna have to be clean though because that's burned pretty good. It'll be alright. Those look done. Mm -hmm. I mean this thing there are good and bad to having this thing where it where we can cook outside and inside, but I need to find a way to make it more level. Yeah. But, I mean, this thing is its going to be fine. We can clean it and move on with our lives. Right. Yes. Just okay. check them. They're good to go. And I guess just i guess just pour the gravy over your mashed potatoes, honey. Let's eat. It's got grease on them. Not too shabby. Not at all. Thank <laughs> you.